Welcome back to Creative Learning Hub. Today we're talking creative automation. It may be an emerging concept, but it's revolutionizing ad production by using AI and smart tools to handle that repetitive work. Imagine turning your product catalog into personalized, eye-catching ads with just a few clicks. Sounds too good to be true? We'll show you everything you need to know from setting up your product catalog to exporting or directly serving your ad campaigns. If you're ready to transform your ad production, let's get going! To get started, you'll need a product catalog, which will serve as a data feed for the design. We'll create one in Google Sheets where we'll add our product information such as product names, headline, descriptions, images, prices, and so on. When it comes to obtaining the product catalog, you have two options. Download it as a CSV file to your computer or publish the Google Sheet and grab a shareable URL. Important, prior to publishing your spreadsheet, remember to set it as a CSV. We'll use the publish method, which allows us to automatically sync any changes made here within Creativity at a later stage. Now, let's jump into Creativity. With your master design ready, navigate to the feed section. You'll see options to create a new feed, try a sample, or view your team's feed history. We'll choose Create Feed. A pop-up window appears offering three ways to upload your catalog. The first one, from local storage. Perfect if you have your CSV on your local storage. Next, URL. Here you can paste the CSV URL you've previously obtained from Google Sheets. And last but not least, Shopify. If you have a Shopify store, you can paste your store's URL and we'll fetch your catalog into Creatopy. With the Google Sheets URL added, you can further adjust the feed settings. Sync frequency. Choose how often you wish for us to sync your CSV. List separator type. Set the separator type for your file. Leave it as a comma since you've published your catalog as a CSV. Target ID. This setting can be used if you want to show a variation based on a specific column when using ad serving. If your intent is to download the variation, it's alright to leave row index as default. Creatopy will give you a preview of your uploaded CSV. Here, you can control your feed, whether you want to edit, let's say, update content, rename, detach the feed from your design, or sync. If any changes are made to the catalog within Google Sheets, you can either manually sync or set the sync frequency from Creatopy. Now here's a neat feature. You can remove the background of your image products, giving you more flexibility when it comes to designing. You can use the background removal on individual images or in bulk. A couple of things to consider here. The sync is kept even if the feed is changed and it will automatically remove the background of new images. Moving on, you can revert the background removal process or any changes made during this stage will not affect the original CSV file, in this situation the one stored in Google Sheets. Once satisfied with your CSV, click Apply Feed. Here you have two ways to connect the feed to your design. You have Quick Connect or Manually Connect. Let's choose Quick Connect, which automatically links data based on matching column and layer names. You can connect various design properties to your feed data. Think content, source, labels, colors, backgrounds, opacity, URLs, positions, visibility, and even size. You can control almost every aspect of your design based on your CSV data. You can add additional text alongside your tags, text only. This supports rich text editing, so you can get creative with formatting. Once you've finished binding your properties, head to the top bar and preview your ad variations. If you still need to adjust the content of the variations, you can double-click on specific layers. Keep in mind that the changes will not reflect on the Google Sheet, but only on CreateP. There are two ways to export your ad variations. First one is to download variations. Pro tip here, to help you stay organized, you can use tags from your feed columns to name your download files. Choose your preferred file format and select the specific rows you want to export. All, a specific range, a single row, etc. Downloading the ad variation uses the export credits allocated to your subscription plan. 
And next, ad serving. You can serve your ad variations directly from Creator Bee by obtaining ad text and adjusting which row you wish to show to your target audience. For more details, we have a dedicated video about ad serving, so make sure to check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Creative Automation is here to stay, and if you want to learn more about it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you around.